from the University of California at Davis. This is News Watch. What do grasshoppers, wasps, and true bugs have in common? Well, they were used in court to help convict a murder suspect. Two FBI agents and a Bakersfield detective hauled a radiator and an air filter into the Bohart Museum of Entomology at UC Davis and asked this woman, Lynn Kimsey, to identify the insects and their localities for what later turned out to be a mass murder trial. We're probably one of the only places in the western half of the United States that could do this because we have the expertise, we have the collection resources and the literature available to, to be able to do that kind of identification. The defendant, the prosecution said, drove from Ohio to California and killed five members of his family. The defendant said he never left Ohio, but he could not account for the 4,500 miles on the rental car. Kimsey said her staff identified the insects plucked from the radiator and determined that the car had been west of the Rockies. I think it's given law enforcement maybe some more tools because insects can tell stories. Kimsey says the FBI was very pleased with how UC Davis contributed to this case. They're pretty happy with the way it came out. Apparently went over well with the jury, that, that they were impressed by how solidly the testimony went. During her five-hour testimony, Kimsey showed the, the distribution uh, of the insects on a map and compared insect photos from the car parts yes. with specimens from the museum. She told the court that several species are found only in the far west. Reporting from UC Davis, I'm Paul Fotenauer. For more information, please log on to broadcast.ucdavis.edu.